Hey, hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. Now today I'm somewhere different, I'm in another location. I'm at Amazing Reptiles at HQ, otherwise known as my parents' back garden. So Amazing Reptiles, if you aren't aware of uh, this company, is my parents' company, which do animal displays with their reptiles, invertebrates, amphibians, etc. around country shows, schools, fates, things like that. And I'm now obviously this year, I uh, kind of haven't done really any displays um, at all, really. Um, I do help them out with those when I can, and when I'm not working at the zoo. Now, um, I also uh, go around to pretty much all of the uh, reptile and the invert shows up and down the country, uh, selling toys and gifts. So if you've been to any of those shows and you've seen the, the toy stand, uh, that's my parents' stand, Amazing Reptiles. And I'll put links uh, down below uh, to the Amazing Reptiles Facebook page. Do go and check that out and uh, follow that for any updates in terms of uh, displays and stuff and school visits um, that hopefully we may be able to do again this year. Um, if not, hopefully we'll uh, be doing those again next year. Parents will, I'll help them out when I can. No, uh, but there you go, like I said, I'm in the Mac Garden and uh, there's going to be a video not of an invertebrate, so we're going to look at an another animal today. This time we're going to look at a species of tortoise, and uh, my mum is really big into her tortoises. I have a fairly large collection of tortoises uh, here at Amazing Reptiles. So, but today we're going to look at just one species, uh, it's going to be the marginated tortoise. So let's go have a look. Okay, so here we have the marginated tortoise, or Testudo marginata. Now this is the largest species of tortoise from Europe Now the one we're seeing here is the one that lives at Amazing Reptiles And this is just a juvenile, it's only uh, around about 3 or 4 years old now So it's still quite young and still got its juvenile colouring Now it's called the marginated tortoise because of its pronounced rear shell scoots Which kind of flatten out the former kind of skirt around the shell, especially towards the back now this one is, uh, like I say, still fairly young. It's just starting to develop. That is more pronounced within older and adult tortoises of the species. So where does the marginated tortoise come from? Where it can be found throughout Greece, as well as populations in Italy, the Balkans, and on the island of Sardinia. Now it tends to inhabit the more mountainous regions of these countries, and it can be found at elevations of over 5,000 feet. And this species of tortoise tends to be a lot darker in coloration compared to other European species. So the black that you see on the shell of this younger one will expand further as it gets older. And this helps absorb the sunlight when it's up on the mountains and gets warmer quicker so it can be more active. So as it gets older that black will eventually cover most of the shell. And the wild these guys experience a whole range of weathers and temperatures so they have really hot dry summers. And winds can be pretty cold and even snowy at times, so they do hibernate in the wild. And in captivity we should hibernate them as well. Now the length can vary depending on whereabouts the tortoise comes from. Uh, so ones from different countries will hibernate at different lengths of time. And even in the same country can hibernate at different lengths of time as well. And it's important to know this within captivity to do it nicely. Now in the UK where we are here, during the summer, as it is currently at filming, we can keep these guys outside and we should now here has a fairly nice size enclosure it's just one tortoise in there just one marginated tortoise so i see there's different things within the enclosure with the hide and foliage as well and it's important to have all these various hides and foliage and things that they can sort of hide in and natural hides so it means that they can escape the sun if they want to they shouldn't just be outside in the full sun all the time so, and also they can come out when they want to, to actively bask and also cryptically bask as well and it's up to them. Now it's also important to make sure that anything you put in your enclosure is safe for the animal and safe for the tortoise. So any foliage that goes into the enclosure needs to be able to be eaten. Now there can be things that they perhaps don't like to eat, which great, they'll hopefully leave it alone. But also put things in there that they can eat and want to eat, so actually seed it up with various weeds as well as find some various garden plants from the garden centre that can be eaten by tortoises. And so in this way you can create a nice looking enclosure for them that they will enjoy. Now tortoises can live a very long time. In fact a lot of species like this one can live anywhere between 70 and 100 plus years. And in captivity we need to make sure that they are nice and healthy and that we grow them on slowly so that their shell can keep a nice smooth 
sort of appearance to it. It doesn't get bumpy with pyramiding and or any other kind of issues. Now, some tortoises can get pretty big, and this species, as I said, is the largest species in Europe. So this one, when it gets fully grown, as I said, this is just a youngster at the moment, but eventually could reach up to 35 centimeters or more. Now we need to make sure that obviously you've got a big enough enclosure for that. And things like tortoise tables I often see online for sale just aren't big enough for most tortoises, especially as they get older. So this is something that you've got to take into consideration, especially if you're ever thinking of getting a tortoise. Can you build an enclosure big enough for it, both outside and inside? Also, can you deal with hibernating if it's a hibernating species? Now, diet is something that is very, very, very important to all tortoises, especially in captivity. And often we do see people misfeeding their tortoises, not intentionally, but just through lack of understanding. So it's very important to research the species of tortoise if you do keep a tortoise to see exactly what it can eat. Now, for most tortoises, these are included. It means no fruit whatsoever, no vegetables. It's things like weeds, plants, flowers, and trying to replicate the wild diet as much as we can. And if we get the diet right, our tortoise will remain healthy. So there are some species that do eat a bit of fruit. There are some species that eat a little bit of meat. This is not one of them. So if you do have a marginated tortoise, Testudo marginata, make sure you research that species, make sure you see exactly what it can eat. And that's various, what we call edible weeds, things like dandelions, plantain, mallow. There's also garden plants that we can feed them. As you can see, is eating some pansy flowers, and that's a bit of a favourite of them. So this is, if you like, their treat. And treat is really a word that is kind of a human term. So we've got to perhaps rethink. So a lot of people will sometimes say, oh, it has an apple as a treat, or it has some grapes as a treat. These are no good for pretty much any tortoise. So... So we've got to rethink what we think about when we think of treats. So think of really healthy treats like certain flowers. So as in this case, pansies, there's also violas. Um, hibiscus as well is a great one that they absolutely love. And, so, and see what you can get. Check around for various tortoise groups. There's lots of tortoise groups out there on, uh, on Facebook and other social media. They will help you out as much as they can, as well as other organisations. Now you can see this one absolutely loves its pansy flowers. It soon polished those off. So as well as other flowers and other various leafy weeds and stuff that we uh, give it to eat. As part of a nice wide diet of what we call a high fibre low protein diet. Which is essential for most species of tortoise. So if you do keep a tortoise or are thinking of getting a tortoise. That's probably the sort of things you want to be looking into. Are the garden weeds and the different flowers and stuff that we can feed tortoises. Now, if you're unsure of what feed stuffs you can feed to them, there's various places you can go. I'll put a link in the description to the Tortoise Table website, which has a plant database. Um, I use it myself. Absolutely fantastic, which has a, uh, a traffic light system, so you can tell whether a plant is safe or not to feed to your tortoise. Also, join a tortoise group. I'm part of Suffolk Tortoise Keepers on Facebook. I'll put a link down in the description, and we will help you out as much as we can. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed looking at the marginated tortoise. Hopefully, you'll agree. It's a fascinating species, absolutely beautiful species of tortoise. Uh, another one they've got here is not nowhere near fully grown. It's still a youngster. I've had it a few years as I've, uh, from a hatchling. And so, I'm going to grow it on nice and slowly as a tortoise should be grown. So, but if you are interested in tortoises as well as following them on the Amazing Reptiles Facebook page, again, links will be in the description. I'll also put a link to the Suffolk Talks Keepers Facebook page, uh, which is a page that my mom's on, I'm on as well, um, and a few other people that run the uh, page. Absolutely great with tortoises. Any tortoise advice, go there for it. We'll advise you as best as we can with regards to tortoises. Um, they are a big thing that we're kept in captivity, they're not always kept correctly, and that's not the owner's fault. It's often the case of wrong information being passed on. So, okay, yeah, if you're interested in tortoises, have a tortoise, want to know more about your tortoise, go and uh, search for Suffolk Tortoise Keepers on Facebook by going to put links down below. But uh, other than that, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, click that bell, 
and so leave me comments down below and uh, we'll see you again when we'll look at another incredible invert or a animal. Bye bye.